Welcome back to JStories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve global social and environmental problems. I'm Toshi Maeda, and here's a quick look at this week's JStories. From Blade Runner to Back to the Future, flying cars have been a feature of science fiction for years. But somehow, in the real world, they have never managed to quite take off. That could change soon as several Japanese companies are working on eco-friendly vehicles known as Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft, or eVTOL for short. There are even plans to display flying taxis at the upcoming World Expo 2025 in Osaka. These new winged automobiles can cruise at lower altitudes than airplanes, are cheaper to operate than helicopters, and have zero CO2 emissions. They can also serve as emergency transport during disasters. One Japanese company, SkyDrive, plans to launch its two-passenger EVTOL in 2025. At the moment, it has a top speed of 100 km per hour and a maximum flying range of 10 km. SkyDrive CEO Tomohiro Fukuzawa says his company would like to create a world where goods and people can move through the sky with freedom. Less than 30% of Africa has access to the internet, and in rural areas where the majority of the population lives, that figure is even less. But Tokyo startup Dots4 is looking to change all that. Since being set up last October, the company has already provided over 50 African villages with internet access, and it plans to double that by the end of the year. The company provides distributed network systems that work a little like home Wi-Fi range extenders. What's more, they are extremely cheap to install. The company's work in Benin and Senegal is being supported by the Japanese government. Information via digital technology can dramatically change the lives of African villagers, becoming a first step for education, finding employment, and increasing income. CEO Carlos Oba told JStories that the company's ultimate aim is to raise the quality of life of people living in rural African villages. That's all for this week from JStories. Please visit our website at jstories.media for more details on these stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspiration from Japan.